Polycystic kidney disease is uh, the most common renal genetic disease. It um, affects approximately 1 in 800 people in the United States. And it's um, a disease that you're born with, but usually don't have symptoms until midlife, when the kidneys uh, are, have these cysts that are growing over the course of the life and now become so large that your kidneys become the size of football. It uh, causes a lot of pain and ultimately uh, between ages 50 to 60 can lead to total renal failure in many patients. Uh, we've de we're trying to develop oral medications that can be used at the time of diagnosis and would be safe to use for uh, patients throughout their lives. The target of the um, study is to really develop drugs that, uh, as I said, are not only safe, but will stop the growth of the cysts. This will not reverse the disease. It will have to be used early on, but will um, stop that cyst growth. We've tested uh, two drugs, actually. They're both in the same class. They are insulin sensitizing agents. Uh, they're known as Avandia and Actos, and they've been used for many years to treat uh, type 2 diabetes. What we have found, it was a very serendipitous observation, but we found that they also uh, inhibit the whole process that causes the growth, of, the growth of cysts. So what happens in these cysts is that you have an electrolyte that is secreted into the cyst and water follows, so the cyst grows, just like a little balloon. Unfortunately, there are hundreds of these little balloons in the kidney, and uh, what we're trying to do is stop the growth of these.